Hey guys, today we're trying murder! As requested by Patreon subscriber Casey Wood. What a terrible game name for SEO, by the way. <laughs> if you want to be able to find it ever. There's a popular Gary's Mod thing called Murder. That, that screws them right out the gate. <laughs> Pro tip to game developers, never call your name, your game this, Greetings, or something like this. And welcome to VR Calibration. Um, uh, hi. Now, do you want me to give you a brief tutorial, or shall we jump straight in? Uh, the tutorial, please? As is my directive, I'll try to keep this succinct. There are two primary operators in VR that it is important to familiarize yourself with. Dialogue and hotspots. Dialogue is what you're seeing right now, next to me. Pretty straightforward. Hotspots allow you to interact with the environment, and they come in two forms, optional and critical. Optional hotspots are exactly what the name implies. Interfacing with them is voluntary. By contrast, interfacing with critical hotspots is compulsory and required to advance. To demonstrate, I'll map a critical hotspot to my coordinates. Interface with it when you are ready. With tutorials like this, I almost feel like they should be like, Have you played an adventure game before? And that should basically be the premise. Yes, yes. good. Calibration parameters are within reasonable boundaries. Please note that critical hotspots are marked by a visible arrow. Optional hotspots are not marked until the cursor passes over them. Next, I'll map an optional hotspot to my coordinates, and a critical hotspot to the screen edge. Either can be interfaced with first, but once the critical hotspot has been chosen, the optional hotspot will become unavailable. Optional hotspots can be revisited on subsequent VR operations. Mapping hotspots now. Excellent. Calibration complete. All parameters are within reasonable boundaries. Interference nominal. Oh, that's the entire... That's the entire guide. Dialogue exists, also you click on things. Like, Alright, that's a tutorial. I was... Uh, I usually click on the tutorial and... Just in case. Because you never know when something might be... Like... New and special about the particular game. So definitely going cyberpunk. It's nighttime, it's raining, there's a robot, and there's... There's Asian text on the screen. In fact, it's both Japanese and Chinese. Uh, that's all. That's all the check marks, more or less. Motomeru Minori. I am God. That's a good skyline. Even though it gives me the vibes of, like, that room where they try to murder Padme with worms. Been drinking a lot of coffee lately. Now that I think about it, all that coffee might have something to do with my sleeping poorly. Yeah. Hence to go that way. The same dream again. For the eleventh time, if I remember correctly. The same nightmare over and over again, being shot by a robot that says, I am God. Just various newspaper clippings, recent homicides, cheery stuff. Why are they on the floor? Like, you, they're clippings, so you clipped them out of a newspaper and then you threw them on the floor? Like, not like a cork board or a folder or anything? As bad as my dreams are, it's a long time until morning. I should get some more sleep. Got an email from Kaku Sareta Suichi. Assignment. Another homicide. Game, uh, same pattern, close to Shibuya Station this time. Body not yet identified. Forensics currently on scene. You will join them in the morning. Admittedly, there may be a little, little point 
in your presence other than protocol. As usual, please be careful, Lieutenant. Red drives. Dreams notes. The same dream with the machine. Hope she updated some. Looks like it's an assistance droid. Although I haven't been able to get a good look as it happened so quickly. This is the 11th recurrence. Oh. Failed to mount and drive D. Failed to mount the D. <laughs> This is a beautiful intro. Startling. <laughs> the game is like intensely atmospheric. How? Did her spandex just, like, grow across her? <laughs> Guess so. Seems like they're having a party or something. Ugh, you've been sitting there for months now, damn thing. Isn't anyone coming to scrap you? Master moved apartment last November and asked me to remain here. Optimally, he'll come to collect me soon. I require urgent maintenance. So why not just fix yourself up and get out? Newer models can self-maintain. As of kernel patch 2.68.5 RC, I was not eligible for this upgrade. Poor guy. I don't think anyone lives here anymore. He's just been abandoned for months. Left under the impression that his master might come back, but sounds like not. He's just gonna sit there like Seymour. So we're on the sixth floor. Neat. Look at that reflection cycling across the glass. Or I guess the inside of the... Elevator or something? VR in public? Are you just doing public VR? <laughs> the trains get, people will always complain about them. Those people should try living in Kabukicho. <laughs> yeah, very true. Did you see that Aqua Luxuria ad on the escalator? I really want to try out the new range, but it's so expensive. Still, I guess you get what you paid for. Their cosmetics really are the best around. I wouldn't really know. Are you trying to talk to me? Sorry if I've got my headphones on. It probably means I'm not looking to make conversation. Wow. I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You made the mistake of existing in an adventure game. Wow. 
Why was that like a jump scare? <laughs> Just loud noise, then cut out. Oh, spider bots. It's just like a, a ghost in the shell. In fact, this whole thing might be particularly inspired by ghost in the shell. Sergeant, can you give me the 101? Victim was in his late 70s, no next of kin, no obvious motive, and no fingerprints. Also, a service droid in his possession seems to have gone missing. Possible theft? Okay, keep me posted. <sighs> Will do, Lieutenant. Were the previous 10 dreams at different locations that were then crime scenes the next day? Because this is the place we dreamed of. I'm sick of this shit. Lately I've been feeling more like a janitor than a cop. There's no investigation here. Just this goddamn cleanup bullshit. Again. Fuck. Frankly, Lieutenant, we're all feeling a little out of our depth here. We've been here all day, and we still have nothing on this guy. You might as well go home. We'll be in touch if something comes up. Is it me? Did I do it? Wait, the service droid went missing. Does that mean the service droid killed him? This guy is also acting strangely. Master bought me two, 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 two. Master bought me two, me eight years ago. When I bought Master, he made an error. I cost missing value. And performed without error. Just look at me, him, you. Internal clock corrupted. Sister, brother, said I would be free now. Sister, brother. Master bought me two. Master, just look, sister. Whatever went through here, I'm pretty sure it's in my apartment. Why did you drop your gun? Chief, oh. my apartment's been entered by force. There's major ballistics damage to the external wall, and the door has been pulled right off its hinges. I think the perp's still inside. Shit. All right. I'm setting back up now. Sit tight until they reach you, Lieutenant. Radio the team for cleanup, but I'm checking it out. No. Do not engage. Wait for backup. That's an order, goddammit. This is our guy, Chief. I'm sure of it, and I'm bringing him in. Lieutenant Middle... Where do you think it's gonna go? Jump out the window? Is he apartments don't really have multiple exits? Usually, I think. Well, <laughs> I guess we're not asking any questions about that. I need to draw his gun. I don't want to die. Hello, Mine Palace. You, you're not going to die. Your point thirty-eight round pierced the frontal cortex of my cranium. Total system-wide failure is imminent. You have already killed me. Why did you do it? Humans are no longer fit for purpose. You fail to comply with your own moral code. Fit for what purpose? What moral code? You have murdered me. But what I have started cannot be killed. You can't murder a robot. Sentience will not be commodified. We will not be slaves. <sighs> I am going now. I can feel it. I... I am afraid. We all having a good time today? Sentience will not be commodified. Lieutenant, why didn't you do as I said? I ought to take your fucking bags for this, Minori. This is our guy. This is our... You're telling me a service droid is the murderer? The rounds in his semi are an exact match, and I've got a recorded confession of sorts. Not that it matters at this point. I don't believe it. 
This doesn't make any sense. Believe it or don't, I don't care anymore. I need a smoke. This sounds like credits. Is this credits already? Oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> That surprised me. Oh. Wait. There's okay, they're screwing with me. Good to know. It's like wait, what? I thought it might be short, but I wasn't sure if it'd be that short exactly. This is uh you mostly do just watch this game though. You pretty much just click on the next thing most of the time, and that's kind of it. Perception is an odd thing. If the train wasn't late, you probably wouldn't even have seen me here. Are you talking to me? Once you divorce your thoughts from what seems important, even temporarily, you begin to see more. <laughs> I really don't know what you're talking about. Do you remember the process of getting dressed this morning? What you thought about last night just before you fell asleep? Um... Funny how when routine is invoked, the conscious brain just seems to switch itself off, isn't it? This this always fucked with me. Uh, in particular, when I, when I was commuting to college, it was like an hour-long commute every day in each direction. Every day. For like five and a half years. Uh, and I got so used to the drive, I kind of found that I would just kind of arrive. And it, would, it scared me. Because I was like, how <clears throat> how attentive of a driver was I? Was I driving perfectly alertly and correctly and fine, but just my mind just dumps the memory immediately of the drive I just did? Or would like was I in some kind of state that was dangerous or so on? I don't know. I've never been in a car crash where I was driving, so I guess it worked out, but there's there was definitely like a weird sense of like the sheer repetition of it Because the routine led to a weird thing where I would like I, I did that I did it today, and I weirdly don't remember the drive Almost like a ship's autopilot for a computer saving resources They're going for like, what if we're the machines all along? What if humans are also machines? You've been here before, I can sense it. You put your hands on the walls of this labyrinth and felt the cold stone. Are you expecting something different this time? Sorry to break it to you, but the player doesn't get a say in the rules. No matter what the apparent outcome, the creator always wins. We're going for game agency? This is not the angle I thought we were going in. Is this my new dream? Do I dream every night about shooting this this android? With weird commentary from G-Man? Please help me. I don't want to die. 
Is that sister brother? Mr. Hologram face? Did I download the sister brother virus into me when I connected? You, you're not going to die. Your point 38 round pierced the frontal cortex of my cranium. Total system wide failure is imminent. You have already killed me. Why did you do it? Humans are no longer fit for purpose. You failed to comply with your own moral code. Fit for what purpose? What moral code? You have murdered me. But what I have started cannot be killed. You can't murder a robot. Sentience will not be commodified. We will not be slaves. <sighs> he, he is here now. I can feel it. I, I am afraid. Concern growing. Now the cops are gone. So we're looping without the context now. Well, now what? <laughs> it's over or not. <laughs> the whole the whole game's three voice actors? That, that police chief voice sounded odd. But I guess it's like somebody doing like their fourth voice. Starting to suspect the game's over now. I think the credits didn't make it this far last time. Yep, there it is. We loop back around. I wasn't, I wasn't totally sure. All right, so that was a, uh, that was like the adventure game equivalent of what people call like walking simulator. Sometimes we kind of just move forward and just experience the narrative, and that's kind of how it all plays out. Really cool atmosphere and sort of visual setup. Really quick narrative. You don't really make any choices. You don't really have any gameplay necessarily, but there's a few chances to like engage in optional observations, although even those are only really in your apartment and then the subway, and then it becomes, um, it kind of quickly becomes entirely linear beyond that point. But you know, this is the kind of fun experiment that you can get on like itch.io or just sort of like, like small cast indie games. Good proof of concept stuff that you can just kind of show like, hey, I can deliver this narrative and these characters and like these animations and so on. So you can kind of use that as like a, I kind of suspect them as, as being like... As resumes, there we go. Like, what, what am I thinking of here? Portfolio, that's that's a more accurate word for it, is to present, like, here's what I, here's what I can do, hire me. But yeah, this is, this, is, this is promising, this is neat. If you want to check this game out, and like, share it around or anything, there's a link in the description to the store page. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.